Guys, we've all been there. We played tennis outside, possibly in the middle of the day. The sun is right above us and we toss the ball up for the serve. We look directly into the sun and we are blinded and have a hard time hitting the serve or even the next ball. So there's a few things that you can do to make this less painful. And one thing that you can do is play with the hat and sunglasses. Now this is something that's obvious, but unfortunately we as tennis players are very sensitive to wearing certain things. For example, we can't play with a watch because that might disturb our two-handed backhand or might be moving around during a point. And the same goes for wearing sunglasses. I personally cannot play with sunglasses on because I feel like they're gonna come off when I'm serving. They also tend to fog up and it's just a really annoying, uncomfortable thing. And believe it or not, the same goes for wearing a hat during matches. Personally, I can only wear a hat backwards when I play a tennis match because I feel like the brim of the hat is impairing my vision somewhat, especially when I toss the ball up. I do not like the feeling of wearing a hat. So for me personally, the best way to play tennis is without sunglasses and without a hat. Now one thing you can do to make looking into the sun less painful, whether it be an overhead or a serve, is you can try to block the sun with your non-dominant hand. So on the overhead, you will have to know where the sun is and you simply try to block it with your hand. So in this case, the sun is about right there. I'm gonna to try to block it with my hand and this does help. On the serve, it's a little bit more tricky because you have to make sure that the blocking of the sun doesn't influence your toss in a bad way. But you can do the following. You can toss the ball. You're gonna know exactly where the sun is and then once you have tossed the ball, you're kind of blocking the sun with your non-dominant hand. You spread your fingers this way and you put your hand against the sun and this can make looking at the sun a little bit less painful. And the absolute best thing you can do to fight the conditions outside on a tennis court, whether it be the wind or the sun, is to study the conditions and then make decisions accordingly. So for example, right now it's 12 o'clock and it's August. So the sun is pretty central, but it's not right above me. It's a little bit to the left. And I have to know this depending on what side I'm serving from. So when I'm serving from this side, the sun is a little bit to my left this is not going to influence my toss in a bad way because I know my toss is going to be directed towards 12 o'clock or 12.30. So when I toss it to 12 o'clock from this side, this has absolutely no effect on my vision because the sun is going to be positioned to the left of me. Now on this side, we're going to have a real problem because the sun is going to be to the right a little bit. And now if I toss the ball in my normal location, I'm going to be looking right into the sun. Now interestingly, in this particular case, the sun is a little bit behind me. So if I throw the ball further out front, I'm going to be looking into the sun uh, a lot less. So if I throw it out here, now all of a sudden it hurts less uh, to look up. Another thing that I could do on this side is toss the ball a little bit more to my left because there's no sun on this side. Yes, this will influence my serve a little bit in a negative way if I'm not used to this type of toss location. But on the other hand, if I, my vision is not going to be negatively impaired, this might help my game overall. So simply on this side, if I throw a little bit to the left on the toss, this doesn't influence my vision negatively in any way and it's going to help my shots that are going to come after the serve. Interestingly, tennis courts are always built north to south. In other words, this side of the baseline is south and if I go in this direction, it's directly north and the sun is going up and down east to west. And so this is something that you have to keep in mind when you're playing tennis. The sun will always be either to the left of you and to the right of you. Depending on the time of the year, there's going to be some situation where it's going to be right above you and that is the time where it's going to be very difficult to avoid the problem of looking into the sun. Uh, something very interesting will happen on those days where you can't avoid the sun and you're going to be looking straight at it. So when you throw the ball up and you look right into the sun, you will not be able to see the ball and you will not be able to see the contact. But interestingly, even though you can't see the ball, you will still make clean contact most of the time. And the reason why we can't see the contact on a serve is because the acceleration is so fast that contact takes place in milliseconds. So there's absolutely no way that we can see the contact on the serve. The point I'm making with this is that you shouldn't worry about looking straight into the sun and not seeing the contact because you never see the contact on the serve and you can still get the serve in. But the real problem starts is is once you have to hit the ball that comes after the serve. In my personal experience, the few times when the sun was on a really bad location, it wasn't avoidable. What happens is you are gonna be kind of blinded for a couple of seconds right after the serve, but the vision will come back 
uh, rather fast. So the only thing that's tricky is the ball that comes after the serve. You have to really try to make that first ball and then after that the vision is going to go back to normal. And this is just one of those things in tennis that we have to suffer through and try to make the best of it. All right guys, so let me finish off this video with trying to avoid the sun uh, on this particular serve. So let's study the sun, okay? It's going to be right here, right above me, but it's a little bit to the right. So if I throw the ball at 12 o'clock, I should be okay. I'm also going to throw it a little bit further in front to avoid the sun even more. And I'm going to try to block it with my hand and let's see what happens. Perfect. I didn't lose my vision at all. It wasn't painful at all. I felt like I avoided the sun completely. So guys, if you keep some of these things in mind, when you're out there playing tennis in the middle of the day on a bright sunny day, it can hopefully make it a little bit less painful.